Good morning and happy Friday, you guys. Y'all, it is finally Friday. And I am sitting here hoping that you all have had an amazing week, a blessed week, a fulfilled week, and a productive week week but it's friday y'all and as you can see i'm in my truck so i'm either going someplace or coming from someplace and in this case i am headed to the gym as usual and because it's friday y'all know that it this means it's all about the pecs the chest the arms all of that and so that's what we're gonna do so i you know today I, I never, when I say I do random car conversations, you guys, they really are random because usually it's a topic that popped in my mind or something that somebody said or something I saw that drives me to talk about it. But today I wanted to talk about something that came up in our women's Bible study class last night. And that was, so if I have to give this random car conversation a topic, it, it would be stop bringing up people's past. And that because that subject came up, uh, that topic I should say came up last night. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is, I know Reverend Adrian, she shared how she said sometimes she doesn't even like going to reunions because she said not that it's happened to her, but people, you know, people see you and they're like, hey, so what are you doing these days? You know, what you up to? And it's down the third and you, you tell them what you're doing and, and they'll say, really? Because I remember back in the day when you used to do this and, you know, you used to hang out at the clubs and for guys is, you know, you always had, especially if that man says he didn't settle down got married and they'll say man I remember when you used to always keep women you know coming in and out your house the dorm wherever and so now you just settle down what I can't believe it and if it's a woman you know either guy or another woman will say girl I remember you used to be back at back in the day you was always getting your party on and and you know you kept a lot of guys and this that and the third but I said all of that to say this we need to stop bringing up people's past you know, and I'm thankful that I don't, I can't say that I've ever had anybody say that to me because I've never been one to drink. I've never been one to party. I don't, I've never, I've never been one to do the club and things. That's just not my scene. But, <clears throat> and I'm not knocking it for people that do, but it's just not my scene. But I just want to encourage everybody to, let's stop bringing up people's pasts. And sometimes, you know what I've, I've discovered? I've discovered that a lot of times people bring up your past especially if you moved on to a better place and you're doing different things what the fuck excuse me y'all i thought this dumbass wasn't gonna stop and he didn't he went right on through the red light y'all let me tell you something that wasn't nothing but god because of that man because first of all he's driving and he's digging all over like this and he wasn't going to stop at the light except i was coming through because i had the right away but i'm telling you now just as sure as i'm sitting here if he had hit my car, this would have made the morning news because, y'all, let me tell you, I would have had to beat them dreadlocks off of him, wrap them around his neck and, and, and lasso him over and into to, to them bushes. Come on now, what is all that about? All right, let me get myself together because I'm going to go in this gym to work on me and, and I'm not going to let that frustrate me. But it was kind of, my heart was racing because I'm thinking this man is not going to stop. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, so I think when people bring up your past like that, you know, they laugh it off. It, you know, they laugh it off. Let me cut this down. But they laugh it off, but at the end of the day, they're really not, you know, they're, and they seem like they're happy for you, but they really aren't. You know why? Because they look at you, they look at themselves and they go, wow, you know, in all these years, this person has done all of this great stuff, and I'm still where I was back in the day, be it mentally, physically, or combination of both. And and so they're not really happy for you, even though they smile and say, oh, well, that's good stuff. You know, they're not really happy for you. That's why they bring up your past, because they want you to remember, i.e., where you came from. So I just, again, today I want to encourage you all, stop bringing up people's past. Because in the famous words of Medea, your past is like your big ass. It's behind you. What you did, that's in the past. That's not who you are now. Well, hopefully it isn't now. For some folks, that is who you still are. 
and and that's that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time but you know when you see that people have accomplished some great things and they're doing great things i want y'all to leave people's past in the past stop bringing that up don't throw that up in their face and certainly like reverend adrian uh, pointed out she said you know especially if you have i'm going to use a guy for instance right and and you go to your class reunion and you run into one of your buddies and and he comes and he has his wife and he's like hey you know so and so um um this is my wife judy judy this is my best buddy from back in the day craig and craig said what man you didn't got married get out of here man i remember back in the day when you always had women coming and going and 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 you, you, you go to bed with one woman and wake up with another woman and you're saying this in front of that man's wife. Now, of course, she knows that was the old you. That's not who you are now. But for some reason, Craig can't let go of what you used to do. And not only that, whatever it was that you used to do, that should have been between you and Craig anyway. He need to mention. He didn't need to mention that in front of your wife. So y'all stop doing that. Let people's past stay in the past, and just and continue to encourage them to keep doing whatever it is that they're doing now. But don't don't throw up their past. And and here's another thing before I leave you, excuse me, all my signs are draining in the morning as usual, but here's another thing that tends to happen. You are moving forward in your life. You're doing great things now. Maybe you weren't doing so well in the past, but you're doing great things. You're moving forward. And there's always that one person that has to say, well, you know, I think what you're doing is great. Mm. You know what? I remember back in the day when, you know, you didn't you didn't have a car, especially if you have a nice car now. I remember back in the day when you didn't even have a car and you had to hitch rides and catch buses and walk and skip and ride a bike, summit, whatever. And now look at you driving this big old fancy car. And you're thinking, um, okay, you said all that to say what? See, because... What, what what that individual is doing is trying to remind you that even though you're doing good now, there was a time when you weren't. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I think deep down inside, they're not necessarily happy for you, see, because they were doing okay when you weren't doing okay. And it's sad that that's how people are. As long as you ain't doing good, they all right. Oh, but once you, you know, get your stuff together and you're doing good, honey, everybody's not happy for you. Everybody that's smiling in your face and clapping for you like this, they're not happy for you because inside they're saying, oh, look at them. They think they all of that now. That's all right. They're going to fall. But, you know, and that kind of stuff really happens. We may not know that people are doing it, but people do that. I always tell people, if I'm clapping for you and I'm smiling for you, I am genuinely happy for you. Because, see, my mindset says this. If God is blessing you now, mine is on the way. So I pray for my friends. I pray for people that I don't even know that God will bless them. Because I know that while he's blessing them, oh, my blessing is on the way. Anyway, y'all, that's all I have to say. I just, again, I want you all to please stop bringing up people's past. Let their past stay in the past, just like your past. As far as I'm concerned, if I know you and I know things that you've done and said and people you've been with, I'm not running around here telling your business. That's in the past. I see that you're doing good. You're now a minister or deacon or uh, deaconess and elder, whatever it is that you are in your 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 church or what have you, or, or you you have your own business that's growing and thriving and all that other good stuff. I, I don't. There's no need for me to bring up your past because that has nothing to do with where you are now. You know, in your mind, in your heart of hearts, where God has brought you from. That's a blessing. So I don't need to remind you of where you came from. I don't even care if you came from nothing and now you have all of this, this great stuff and you forget where you came from and you think you're better than the people that are still where you were. I'm still not going to bring up your past because that's between you and God. You know where you came from. You know it. I know it. And the other people know it too. So I don't need to throw that up in your face. See what I'm saying? So, y'all, that's it. I'm going to get on in this gym. Have my C4. So, I'm going to go in here and cook these arms. 
so I can get on out. And as usual, I didn't get to bed when I was supposed to, so I'm running off four hours and 49 minutes of sleep. And when I tell you this sister is tired, you better believe it. I have my handy dandy notebook. Workout was written up last night, and I forgot to point out that my skin is so hydrated. Now, I know, like I said, it looks a little oily on camera, but my skin is so hydrated. And y'all, it is so soft. Oh my goodness. But that's because I take care of my skin. Because one thing's for certain, two things for sure. I refuse to go into this gym ashy. Y'all know how many people I see in here ashy as I don't know what. Some people, one man, his legs were so ashy, I thought he had on white socks. To be honest, white ankle socks, to be honest with you. I, my hand to God, because they were his legs, things were so ashy. That's just not me i don't care if i'm just going to the gym or not my i have on my um my what is that uh i forgot what's that lotion starts with an e and it feels so good i have that on my hands i have on my cocoa butter on my legs and on my arms that's why they're glistening because you know as i'm working these biceps i like to see them glisten in the mirror but anyway i digress y'all i'm out i am out y'all have a wonderful day have a wonderful amazing productive blessed fun filled day that's what i want for you each and every one of you and i pray that god will give you the desires of your heart as long as it's in line with his will of course but give you the desires of your heart go out there today do something phenomenal and make it your business to bless one person today just one that's all i'm asking just find one person that you can bless and i'm not saying you have to give them money it doesn't have to be money it can be a compliment but just find one person that you can bless today and if you can do more hey do more but just one that's all i need is for you to bless one person today go out there have an amazing day and again y'all let's stop bringing up people's past because see we don't like it when people bring up our past so we're not going to bring up other people's past if you're new to watching my videos i want to say welcome 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 please make sure you follow me so you can get these random car conversations which seems like i'm doing them every monday wednesday and friday now when i'm on my way to the gym and it is now 6 11 so i'm gonna wrap this up and for those of you that this is not your first rodeo i want to say welcome back i missed you guys and you know i can't do what i do without each and every one of you i truly cannot so thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys i love each and every one of you y'all know the drill you know my spiel i can't do what i do without each and every one of you okay so y'all go out there have a great day we'll talk again on probably over the weekend but if not on monday love you bye